Welcome back to another episode. This year, I already did a video about uh, what's in my tackle bag. I did one last year. I'm going to do another one. And if you're wondering why am I going to do another one, that is because I have had people ask me a lot of questions about some of the baits that I use. What do I like? Maybe can I give them some tips? I've done a lot of that. I've done a lot of tackle talk, tackle tip videos. But I'm just going to go over a more recent version of my tackle bag and not all of this, but a lot of this is going to be for like smallmouth fishing and just, well, not even really smallmouth, just bass fishing in general, but mainly smallmouth. But anyway, the tackle bag. But before we, we get into today's video, uh, you'll remember that in, the, in a few videos back, I talked about how I'm going to be working with the KVD Line and Lure Company. You know, I'm a pro staff with them. It's not going to change my content. I'm just going to help promote this. It's a cool opportunity for me. Well, there's another company that I'm going to be working with this year that is also not going to change my content, but is something that I am very proud to be a part of because it is a brand new startup company. They contacted me. They asked me to be a part of it. And of course I accepted. And that is Monster Bass Tackle. It's a brand new tackle company. Whole bunch of YouTubers and Instagram people talking about Monster Bass Tackle. I will also be talking about Monster Bass Tackle. But anyway, super exciting news. So enough of the talking. Let's get into the... Open up this pocket and you have a pair of the Rapala gloves. The fishing gloves that you can get from Walmart. See what I'm saying? I never use those. Okay. What do we got in here? Nothing. Go over to this pocket. You have... A lip grip, scissors, and a scale. By the way, those are all by Rapala. Then you have tape measure. And in this pocket, Sunline Super Fluorocarbon. That is eight pound test for my, it's my fluorocarbon leader for my drop shot. Jeez, learn how to talk. You have the swivel that I used for my drop shot, and I just dropped it. The VMC rolling swivel. I've been trying the VMC spin shot hooks, okay? So far, I like them. And then you also have, of course, a fishing license. I always carry this with me, no matter what. Tor grade drop shot weight, the teardrop style, it's in a quarter ounce. And you have the BPS, excuse me, XPS tungsten weight. You have the Gamagatsu Offset Chankrum EWG 3 out Superline hook, or just say Superline EWG. It's my favorite hook for a Texas rig. Open up this box. Right now, I only have a few jigs in there, black and blue, uh, crawfish color, uh, green pumpkin. I have some structure jigs that I need to put in here. A couple extra hooks, a uh, little Ned rig, another drop shot weight. Quarter ounce tube jigs. You have the crankbait and the jerkbait box. Of course, Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus One. Strike King Red Eye Shad. 5XD. A couple of Rapalas. Uh, 7 foot to 10 foot. Two duo spy baits. Mega Bass Score Bill. Speaking of spy bait, see that perch spy bait? I need to catch a fish on that. That is the duo spin bait 80, I believe, and then the 90. Is it? Yeah, spin bait 90, says it at the top. I need to catch a fish on those spy baits. But other than that, like I said, these are all good colors for the red eye shad. And the Vision 110, LG Bone. Okay, then you have the GP Stain Reaction, Table Rock SP. You guys have already seen enough of that. Moving on. I just have some spinner baits. There's the War Eagle Screaming Eagle. It's a half ounce. And you have a 3 8 3 8 3 8 uh, That half ounce was a compact silhouette. And then you also have the Yozuri Knuckleball. I have yet to catch a fish on that. I don't want to waste too much time on this video. And then in the last box, you have Top Water. The 130 Whopper Plopper. The Spook. The BPS Popper. And this Booyah Frog I've caught fish on. I haven't caught fish on this Mega Bass or this Evergreen. 
So to finish up, we are going to go over the plastics. Uh, a lot of you guys that like my videos seem to really like it when I talk about plastics. And by the way, yes, I'm keeping this video simple, basic, to the point. So, Guggen Baits. Of course, you have the Dragon Drops. Now, by the way, look at this Morning Dawn. I just picked this up. Look at that color. How does that not look good to you? That looks amazing to me. I really want to catch a smallmouth bass with it. Why? Just because I do. And of course the bandito bug. I've talked about it enough. You have the watermelon red and the natural brush hogs. I have to have those. Literally. You guys saw the Kitech Easy Shiners. The Beast Coast Magic Flick, the three and a half inch. Poor boy baits. Look at this. I'm going to have to show you the Gobi color here in a second. The coffee tubes. Green pumpkin and natural Gobi. Okay, so, oh, and by the way, got to have a pack of the Rage Crowds in your bag. The green pumpkin, purple, and gold. On to that poor boy bait. Look at this thing. The four inch Erie Darter. Look at this. Look at that. Do you know how bad I want to drop shot this plastic? Oh my. Four inch, you get eight in a pack. I've never really been a big fan of poor boy baits. I mean, because I never really used a whole bunch. I have used them before. But actually, Matt Goes Fishing suggested, he's like, hey man, you got to pick up a pack of these four inch poor boys for a drop shot said okay I will as always if you have any questions about any of the baits lures terminal tackle hooks plastics anything let me know in the section below I will be able to answer probably any question you have about anything in the bag I mean I've used everything in that bag except for the couple items that I mentioned and I will be able to tell you a very good recommendation for a rod and reel combo to use with that bait. But anyway, thank you so much for watching another boring episode. I know you guys don't actually think it's boring, but it's raining outside. I do have some cool trips and some cool fishing videos planned. I will see you guys next time. A it's a it's Ayla, right? It's Ayla. Everyone, tell your names. Hello. Yes. What do we have here? This here is my very first car. Say it again. This is my very first car. Um, I got it when I was 14. It's a 1971 Charger. It was my grandma's originally. And I just drug it out. It's been sitting since 1986. So it was your first car. My very first car. You got it in what year? 1982. 1982 and it's been sitting since 86? Since 86, yes. Hi, Brando. Hi. How are you? Doing good. Would you care just to look down it real fast? Hey, you go fishing? actually, you know what? Before I go fishing, how about you oh, You give me like a tour. Open it up and show me here. This is the interior. It's still all original. It's a little smelly in there, but just been sitting at a bar. Wow. Okay. Hold on a second. All right. Oh yeah.